Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or estate sales or garage sales, and I buy things that make me feel happy or tell me a story, and then I bring them home trying to find out everything I can about them, and then tell you guys about them. So, here's what I've got for you today. It's going to be interesting to show up on camera. This is a very, very tall glass vase. Um, I don't know if you can actually tell that it is very slightly asymmetrical. It leans basically in one direction. You can just about see it there, it leans a little bit more this way. Uh, it is cased glass as well. There is white milk glass on the outside and then there is this transparent green on here. And then it's got this, uh, this applique detail, which you can see has been wound around it and then kind of pressed together there. The way down it and it actually just what you can see here that from the base it actually looks like the, the the end of it here is actually stuck into the bases and the base is actually done separately at least is what from what I can gather from it anyway now underneath and this is kind of interesting that is a if you can see it properly that is a sand pontal okay um that's basically with the 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 actual glass blower or whatever would have actually had this on the end of a, the the ponty the the long the long metal rod that actually holds it and you would have it attached with this kind of this grains of sand essentially glass sand and it just it creates this kind of effect essentially it makes it easier to actually crack it off okay <laughs> let me try and be careful with it okay we're gonna measure it up still using the annoying my measuring tape that's about yeah five inches five inches across the wise point It is, to be honest, I kind of think it's very slightly lopsided on one side or the other, but make it that what you will. But if we put it down carefully, it is just a, just over 11 inches high. So, I mean, it's quite, it's quite big, it's quite heavy and it's very, you know, it's quite a weighty, it's quite a weighty piece. Now, if there's any of you that know glass, Please don't get excited, it's not Victorian. <laughs> um, I bought this in a thrift store for $6. Uh, $6 Canadian, remember, I don't, I, you know, because I live in Canada. Um, this, by the way, this, this pontel, there's an edge there that is sharp. And I was doing this in my hand, and I damn near sliced my hand right open. I nearly, you can't see it now, I nearly cut my thumb right open as well before I realized that it actually had a sharp pontel. Um, so that's something, if you're like me and you like to collect glass, be careful when you touch these things. It's very hard to tell sometimes whether the pontil is sharp or not until, you know, you put your hand against it and then regret everything. Uh, so, so what have we actually got here? What we, what we have, okay? What we do not have, first of all, is a Victorian trumpet vase, which is what I was hoping it was when I bought it. But I thought, you know what, for $6, it's still something that's very well made and well blown. I can take a chance on it and then see if I'm right. And to be honest, it's got kind of the, the make and look and feel of it. So. So here's what we've got here. These are, these are Victorian trumpet vases with ruffled rims. This is actually, you know, this is kind of why I wanted to get it because I saw the, the, the style of it and thought, oh, that looks, that looks so familiar. That looks like the, it looks Victorian. Like I thought that this kind of why that I wanted, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna just take a chance on it because for six bucks I might as well, I might as well just see if I'm if I'm right. Guys, I was not right. <laughs> this is not this is not Victorian. This is made in the style of Victorian glass. This is not actually Victorian glass. Real Victorian glass is kind of looks a bit like this. It's gonna be very it's very delicate. And a lot a lot of the pieces that you see on Google would be very well made as well. Um you see a lot of the, the ruffled style is very like long and thin, has these little accents or whatever added. Like even these little, this is what I was thinking of when I saw that is like these little, oh come on, this one, these little kind of applique bits at the top here. Like they're very, they're very nice, they're very delicate, but yeah, this is not that. What we have here is a Chinese made reproduction, made in probably the 1970s of Victorian style glass. Um, like I kinda, I kinda looked at it and thought, eh, maybe, 
mm, you know, because if I'm right, it's probably worth something good. If I'm not right, well, you know, it's only six bucks. I should probably have spent longer looking at it, to be honest, because like you can, I can see now looking at it that it's that slight asymmetry there. The fact that the ruffles are slightly uneven, like little things like it looks like the, the, the base was added on afterwards, which just kind of doesn't look right. It's got issues of quality. And the one thing that I really should have been looking at was the fact that the base has no wear. Like if something is actually like Victorian, if it is actually like over a hundred years old or something like that, it is going to have wear of some kind on its base. Like you will, I, I've never ever seen a very old piece of glass that didn't have some kind of wear here. And it's always going to be, it's called a moss ring sometimes. And it's just like this ring of slightly kind of matte, like because most glass you can see here is quite shiny. There's going to be this ring of kind of the slight like, like matte scratches. It's probably quite faint, you know, and it's not, really considered damage as a sign of wear because once you have glass and it gets moved across the surface like that because you know something that something that's old and has been around for a time has been moved across like a table or whatever hundreds of times then it develops this little this little ring and this one doesn't <laughs> this doesn't have it and yeah I should have been paying more attention to that and I was kicking myself afterwards looking at it um I ended up going on to um, the glass collecting subreddit. I'm not like I'm on Reddit and I go to and on the on glass collector glass collecting subreddit, and I actually went and asked and you know, like what do you think? And they basically said no, sorry, <laughs> Chinese reproduction. I mean it's still vintage, probably the 1970s, 1980s, but like, you know, it's not Victorian. So what can you do? And it's you know it's, it's a shame I guess it's uh, it's still a very nice vase if you can overlook the fact that it has a certain amount of quality issues just in the fact that like it's. A little asymmetrical here and the quality of the glass maybe isn't quite what you'd like you can see here that there's a lot of kind of imp there's a lot of impurities in the glass there's a lot of kind of stuff stuck in it and everything and although I've seen odd glass like I've seen old glass that would have had that kind of thing I don't think they would have it to this extent and you know bubbles are not are not unusual having little bits of hair yeah, yeah okay I'm not sure about that Anyway, lesson learned. Here you go. I'm probably going to put this up on and put this up on eBay and I'll list it for maybe twenty or thirty dollars. It's not going to be worth anything any more than that. And you know, for six dollars, I mean, I can afford to you know sell it for nothing, and I can just take it as a lesson learned. And you know, I'm probably going to have to be a little bit more you know careful when I look at glass in future about if I think it's old, it should actually have the signs of being old. It should actually have the, it should actually show the the signs of quality that we expect from like old glass. <laughs> So there you go. I'm going to call this joyful simply because like I'm always like in favor of something that teaches me something <laughs> and you know it's, if it's just a lesson it's only costing me six dollars to learn so you know there you go. So thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoy this.